So this little guy changed my life. And as I was looking at the opportunity to work with Studies Weekly, I had been looking at some of the resources and I had a packet of the, the print material and I had some of it open and I had it laying on my couch. This little guy here walks to the door from school and he could see it and he said, Dad, what are you doing with Studies Weekly stuff? And I said to him, Dylan, I might go to work for them. And he put his arms in the air and he said, Dad, that's my favorite part of the day. I get choked up about this because Dylan's on a 504 plan. And not only a 504 plan, um, <clears throat> he struggled with reading and comprehension and trying to understand. And I was a dad and my that was trying to read to him every night. My wife was doing the same thing. And his scores had been going up. And so I thought, man, I'm doing such a great job. I'm such a good dad. But I realized very quickly as to why his reading comprehension scores had been going up. He was engaged. He was finding something that he um, loved to use. So I'm proud as Dylan uh, went through, he obviously got a, well, he's a little low there on uh, language arts, A minus, something we'll have to work on. <laughs> but social studies, straight A, and I couldn't be more proud of the of um, my little 504. So um, <clears throat> let's get into the product a little bit now so you can see how it works and why it's so engaging. You would just go in, you would log in, studiesweekly.com, put your login credentials as your state. I'm just going to use New Mexico here. Um, kind of went through that fast. But you would put your login credentials. Your new username would be your state's initials with all lowercase teacher. Password is demo. And this is what you'll see when you first log in. Okay. But I want to show you <clears throat> how simple this is. We don't want to make this hard. It has to be simple for you as a teacher. Otherwise, we shelf things. But we can't have you do this. We know this is one of the most important tools you'll ever use. So as a class admin, we want you to be able to know that you can set up your class individually. You can put their information in. You can also put their parents' email in if you want to correspond with parents via tests and homework. Okay, so you can set that up individually. You can import an Excel spreadsheet. One of the things I like to do is generate a student registration code. If you've got a class of, let's say, 26 students, put 26 in there, you press submit, and it's going to give you 26 codes. Uh, Revere is one of our, uh, uh, he's a little avatar that's part of the system that helps the kids engage. But he'll re it's going to generate these codes that you can register each one of your students. It makes it very easy. Okay. So reading. Let's look at the reading aspect and how it coincides specifically with the print. If I was to click on the reading, I would have my print in hand. I, let's say I have this USA Studies Weekly in hand. You would see exactly on the print is what you do online. So if I was to go into week three, you would see uh, all the weekly units, all the weekly articles that are part of that weekly unit. Right up the top right where you see the lesson plan, that's going to be a little friend to all the teachers. You can click on it. It's going to bring the information off to the right-hand side. It's going to give you the ELA standards, all the components, the, the videos that are related to that specific weekly unit. So what's important for you as a teacher and educator is to know what standards are being covered per that weekly unit. Okay, You can also look at them. Press on any one of those. It's going to give you what the, the description of each one of those standards are. Uh, again, the ELA standards, you open it up. Uh, if you're a common core state, um, uh, it's going to give you all those components that will help you out there. Okay. Again, Black Line Masters. All this stuff is also part of your print edition of the student, um, uh, uh, of the teacher supplement that you'll get with this as well. Okay, got your word walls, you've got uh, the vocabulary words, everything that you really need to know. Okay, so if I was to look at this weekly or, or this article that's part of this weekly unit, American Indians, I click on it, it's going to bring up the reader. And this is where Dylan was engaging as well. So the teacher, uh, Mr. Jacobs, he would let them open their print. They would put their feet up on the desk and they would read it. 
And when they were done reading it, he would do this on the guided reader. Did you know there were Anasazi communities in Colorado, New Mexico, Utah, and Arizona? So the reader, point and click for those that are off target. Disappeared. Scientists. So not only were they reading this, and not only were they hearing this, but Mr. Jacobs was literally, as they went through and talked about specific things, he would show them the primary source that's related to that weekly unit and article. This is Flint napping, and at the end of it is a beautiful arrowhead because that weekly unit talks about hunting, how the early uh, settler or the Native Americans had actually hunted for food. They created arrowheads. They made weapons to be able to hunt for their food, so it relates it to it, and it's very easy for me to understand why Dylan was engaging so well. Beneath each one of those primary source resource uh, content, uh, like a video or uh, a picture or audio, are three questions. They're leveled questions, easy, medium, hard. They come in, they answer the question, it's split napping, and why do they do that? And why is there an avatar world? It's very simple. The kids want to engage. They want to do this. Hey, kids. Join me, Revere the Rat, and explore the amazing worlds of social studies and science through Studies Weekly. Earn points by answering questions and completing activities. With these points, you can help your very own classroom pet live in style. All kinds of amazing things are out there just waiting to be... So, going through it very quickly, Bill, and he built a... Uh, he had a jet in his rat cage... Uh, and so it's just kind of fun for the kids to engage. Resources, we have a lot of resources in here for you guys. We've got the, the standards coverage for your state. This specific one is for New Mexico, as I put that in. But they can go in, look at the standards that are being covered, and actually what other weeks are being covered uh, with that standard that's covering in those other weeks. can also give you the scope and sequence of our weekly units. You can actually go into a weekly unit, click on it from there. It's going to take you right into the specific article. Primary source, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of primary source. We scour the country. We have a world production, uh, world class production team. Loki Mulholland and his staff are unreal. He's won 34 tellies, and uh, I'm proud of them and uh, the way that they film because they film to the engagement of the student. For example, if I was to click this guy here and watch his video, this is the what you would see. The best moment for me in the war was when I was, we were out on patrol. It was a 6,000 yard patrol and we were to go out, bivouac and come back the next day. And while we were out, we, we had a 300 radio with us, and they called us up and said the war was over. get choked up every time I watch that as well. Um, I'm thinking of the kids in the classroom, your kids, and what they would say when they watch that. And the questions I promise you would be something like this. Why is he crying? I don't know what's going on in his mind, but he does. And those are the things that our children need to know and understand why 